You want to simplify the expression cosine 686 degrees times secant of 34 degrees plus cosine of 18 degrees times sine of negative 72 degrees. Let's first start off with cosine of 686 degrees. Because 686 degrees is greater than 360, we're going to subtract 360 from it. So evaluating cosine of 686 is the same thing as evaluating cosine of 34. So then when I multiply cosine of 686 with secant of 34, that's the same thing as multiplying cosine 34 times secant of 34. And we know that secant is a reciprocal of cosine. So this is really cosine 34 times 1 over cosine 34. And so the cosine 34 is canceled and we're left with 1. Next, we know that sine of x is an odd function, meaning when I plug in a negative x in for my angle, I'm going to get negative sine of x. So the negative comes out in front. And the other thing we know is that cosine of x is equal to sine 90 minus x. So if I plug in cosine of 18, that's the same thing as sine of 90 minus 18 equals sine of 72. So we're going to use these facts to simplify the problem. So this is what we started with. We said that cosine of 686 times secant of 34 is the same thing as cosine 34 times secant 34. Now sine of negative 72, we said the negative comes out in front. And we also said that cosine of 18 is equal to sine of 72. And we said that cosine and secant are reciprocal, so that's going to cancel and you'll be left with 1. And here we just have sine times sine. It's the same angle, so you could just square it. We get 1 minus sine squared 72, which is equivalent to cosine squared 72, since sine squared 72 plus cosine squared 72 is equal to 1. And so cosine squared 72 will give us 1 minus sine squared 72. So our final answer is cosine squared 72.